Hey guys, what's up? Skis be- Oh! Hey guys, what's up? Boss man here. Skis being a little bitch right now. Oh. Oh. Um, bringing you the UFC on FX post-fight show. That's right. FX. The UFC is now on FX with their first- Can you get your bitch ass up? God! Did you see that Damn, one? what? Oh! Alright, starting off tonight was Christian Moorcraft versus Pat H.D. Barry. Uh, Pat Barry just pretty much outstrike Christian Moorcraft, who is the. Who is a very. Can you get the fuck up already? Do not care for that. Yeah. No. Alright, so we're talking about Christian Moorcraft and Pat yeah, Barry. Yeah, I heard. Uh, Christian Moorcraft versus Pat Barry. Uh, first off, I don't know if you've seen it. You gotta Google the, the weigh in picture. Funny. <laughs> that, that was more crap. That's for you, Christian. <laughs> you look like that Family Guy character with the huge underbite. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the guy's name, but if you watch Family Guy, I'm sure you've seen him. Yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, it was a pretty. It was a really good fight. It showed a lot of Barry's improvements and where more crap sucks. Uh, and more crap <laughs> did catch Barry in an armbar. A very good armbar. Yeah. He, got, he got Barry down, which I was worried because Barry's taking on defense blows. But, I mean, his take on defense, submission defense, it all sucks. But it really showed a lot of improvement here. Uh, Morecraft took him down a couple times. He was able, to, Barry was able to get back up. But at one point, like he said, he got him in the armbar. Yeah, and uh, Barry was able to get out of it. Pretty much walk over it and was, get out of the armbar. It was definitely locked in, but Barry walked over. Yeah, and Barry's great. not a tall guy. I mean, no. and Christian Morecraft is 6'6". Six, six. He's 5'11". No. Yeah, Morecraft was a big guy. Uh, Barry got out of that arm, that armbar, stood back up. Uh, and knocked him the fuck out. Yeah, pretty much it was just a nice left hook, skinny the Straight tempo. across the face, and uh, ground and pound, done. Yeah. I'm glad Perry got, Barry got the win. I like Barry. He's really funny. And he planked after he won. Come on. Come on, on. yeah. You, can't, you plank. That's hilarious. Yeah. Anyway, uh, moving on. To the Bantamweight fight. Man, this fight was That was a intense. very good fight. It was amazing. Uh, it was, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jared Papazian. Mm -hmm. Versus Mike the Hulk Easton at Bantamweight. Yeah. Easton is for real, folks. If you haven't seen him, he's like a little powerhouse. If you've seen Glayson Tebow, picture him but at Bantamweight and black. That is Mike Easton. He's the Hulk wears purple shorts into the octagon. Yeah. How do you not like that guy? He's awesome. Uh, they went out there for three rounds, him and Papazian, and they threw yeah, everything was... they had at one another for three rounds. Yeah, it was insane. It was a majority decision, huh? No, it was unanimous. No, it was majority. It was unanimous. I think it was majority. Oh, well, whatever it was. Anyway, it was a really good fight. If you haven't seen it, you gotta look it up. Yeah. Uh, Easton, I think. Uh, what do you think about him? I think he's gonna be great at bantamweight. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, his striking is very good, mm -hmm. and not only that, he's a ground guy. Yeah, he's got very good wrestling too. He trains with uh, Dom, Dominic Cruz. Yeah. So um, yeah, we'll see where he can go. I think uh, he's gonna be a force at bantamweight soon. Uh, what do you think next for him? Top ten or no? Nah, nah. I think he needs another guy. Like maybe I don't know. Ah, well, I don't even know. Well, I don't know. He's great. The UFC knows what they're doing. Um, looking forward to seeing him fight again. Moving on to the uh, co-main event. Uh, uh, it was a welterweight fight between Josh Neer versus uh, Dwayne Bang Ludwig. A uh, very interesting fight. Neer just came in uh, after winning his comeback fight. You know, moving up to welterweight. He's a lightweight. <laughs> moving up to welterweight fighting Dwayne Ludwig. Coming well, he was at welterweight in his last fight, too. He was? Yeah. Oh, all right, sorry. Um, who, uh, who was coming off a win against Amir Sadat, just Destroying dominant. Destroying him. Picking and, uh, him apart. Pretty much Ludwig did the same. He, yeah, he was picking him apart for most of the fight. He rocked him a couple times. Yeah. He rocked near it. But, um, again, uh, Ludwig's Achilles heel is the ground game. He got taken down. Near's a very good ground guy, especially now he's training with both the Diaz brothers up in yeah, and, uh, at Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. Um, kind of sprawled. And, uh, yeah, he, he, he pushed him off. Uh, Ludwig did everything right. He pushed him off, kind of got up, but left his neck out. And near has got Nier, a very good guillotine. Near locked up the guillotine and choked him out cold. You can yeah. see what's his name. Ludwig tries the tap, but he goes out. Yeah, that's um, always funny. To it was watch. a pretty good fight. Uh, I, I really thought Ludwig had it, but uh, Near proved himself pretty good. Well, I'd probably like to see him fight Eric Silva next. Eric Silva just got yeah. DQ'd against Carlo Prater at UFC Rio. Yeah. Um, Anyway, that was a good fight between those two. Moving on to the main event. Uh, both guys coming off a loss. You got the young assassin, Melvin Gillard, and as I like to call him, Redbeard, Jim Miller, <laughs> facing off. 
Uh, both guys were very close to a title fight, but got derailed. One by Joe Lozon by a freaking like tap on the chin. Being Melvin, I don't know what's wrong with him. And, uh, and Jim Miller got destroyed for three rounds by Bendo. But the thing was that like like you said that he made him, like I think it's an excuse for the yeah, fight. Yeah, he said I've he heard, was sick. Yeah, that that Jim Miller came out and said he had mono or something before the fight that he wasn't able to train properly. I don't know. I think it's all bullshit. You got to own. Just own up to it, guy. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, the fight, that fight was good. Uh, Melvin, Exciting. Melvin, Melvin showed was, he was outstriking him. Again, Melvin outstrikes almost all his opponents. And then he, uh, you know, he threw a pretty good, uh, There's not a lot punch. of flying knees. I really don't know why. It was weird. I was thinking he's going to get taken down eventually, which did happen. But before that, uh, He rocked him. Yeah, he, he rocked, rocked Jim a couple, he rocked him with a punch and then kneed him really, like a big knee to the face. Yeah. Miller's a hard guy to finish. So, um, all of that, Miller was able to cover sort of, uh, Melvin threw another knee. Uh, uh, fell back, fell down. Uh, Miller caught it. Uh, kind took of, his it was back. a bit of a scramble. Uh, Melvin popped up a little bit, and as soon as he popped up, Jim Miller took his back, uh, locked in a, a body triangle. Me- uh, Melvin fell, and rear naked choke moments later. Yeah, it was. Uh, I, we were all going. I was going for Melvin. I was going for Melvin too. Uh, he just pisses me off. He has all this talent, but he can't get it done. It's wasted. I don't know why. I don't know I, what it is. I think it's a. Uh, he actually is now training at a new gym, training at Imperial Two Athletics, the Black Zillions. Yeah, and, you know maybe it's not the best gym for him, but who knows? I don't know. I thought Greg Jackson was a good gym. Yeah, I don't know why he left. Maybe because yeah. he wants to fight Guida at one point. Well, that's what I'm thinking. And Cerrone's there too. There's a yeah. lot of guys that can get you closer up the ta- up the ladder. Yeah, so I'm guessing know. he left because of. Those I don't reasons. know about that, but he could have just left because there's better training. Whatever the reason is, uh, he's got to figure it out. Um, uh, with best of luck to Miller, I mean Miller, Miller and Melvin. Uh, what else? Let me just try and off the top of my head think of what happened on the other go. Oh, Jorge Rivera won his final mixed martial arts bout against Eric uh, Red Schaefer. Yeah, TKOing um, him in the second round. Very sad for him to be retiring. Yeah, Rivera. He, he's been around the sport for a long time. So he fought UFC like forty. Yeah, he was on the the comeback season of the Ultimate Fighter. I don't know if any of you remember that. But, um, yep, um, good thing he goes out with a win. Uh, are we done here? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we're done. Uh, we're, uh, our UFC uh, post fight for 142 should be up already, so go ahead and watch that. I'm sorry we did not get a, a pre fight show, pre-fight for, show for the FX card. Uh, we will have a, a Fox the one, Fox pre fight and the post fight. That's this Saturday, everybody. It's going down. Evans, Evans versus Davis. Davis, Chael versus Bisping. Maya versus Weidman. Get ready. That's going to be a sick card.